Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, we are talking about Saudi Arabia's $1 trillion skyscraper, a project that has been making headlines around the world. This massive development, dubbed the line, is set to be built in the city of Neom, located on the country's northwest coast. The line is a fully sustainable, car-free city that stretches over 100 miles. It will feature a network of high-speed trains, pedestrian-only streets, and green spaces, all designed to reduce the city's carbon footprint and create a more livable environment for its residents. The goal of the project is to create a city that is completely self-sufficient and able to house 1 million people. But the most impressive feature of the line is its skyscraper, which will be the longest in the world at over 500 kilometers in length. This towering structure will house businesses, residential units, and public spaces, all connected by a series of elevators and walkways. The skyscraper will be built using cutting-edge technology and materials, making it one of the most advanced buildings in the world. The line is set to be a major part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan, which aims to diversify the country's economy and reduce its reliance on oil. As part of this plan, the government is investing heavily in infrastructure and development projects, with the line being one of the most ambitious. If all goes according to plan, construction on the line is set to begin in 2025, with completion expected in 2030. But what will the line actually look like when it's finished? According to renderings released by the Saudi Arabian government, the city will feature a mix of modern and traditional architecture, with narrow streets and alleys winding between high-rise buildings. The skyscraper itself will be a sight to behold, with a sleek, futuristic design that looks like something out of a science fiction movie. One of the most interesting aspects of the line is its focus on sustainability. The city will be powered by renewable energy sources, including solar and wind power. It will also feature advanced waste management systems and water recycling facilities, helping to reduce its environmental impact. The line is being built as a city of the future, and it's easy to see why. With its cutting-edge technology and focus on sustainability, it could be a model for other cities around the world to follow. It remains to be seen how the project will progress, but it's definitely one to keep an eye on in the coming years. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.